This is the first GoPro film which I have posted to this YouTube channel. What I thought we'd do is watch the little film I made and then talk a little bit about the editing process that I went through in creating this video. So this was a very quick video to make. It took me approximately 30 minutes from importing my footage through to final editing. All of my video clips were very long. I shoot a lot of video while I'm sailing to use for training. So most of my video files are between 20 to 30 minutes long. So my first step was in importing and converting to select only those files and only the pieces of the files which I wanted to use. Also while importing, I had to make sure that I only selected the best parts of each of the clips. And I kind of, when importing, had a fairly good idea of what I wanted my final video edit to look like. Now I knew that my final video edit was only going to be about 30 seconds long, so there was no point wasting CPU power and time converting more than a couple minutes worth of video. As it was, you can see here on the right hand side, this video is about, um, I think I'm completing uh, 5 seconds and... Uh, sorry, 3 seconds, 16 seconds, 7 seconds, 20 seconds, 15 seconds, uh, 15 and 20 seconds. So I'm taking very, very small parts of the clips to actually use in editing. And that does two things. One, when I'm um, looking through all of the footage which I have the ability to use, it's really making me think about how I want to use it and what parts of that video I want to use. And then it also doesn't um, take that long to convert. I'm editing this on my laptop and it doesn't have as much horsepower as my CPU, so making or as my desktop, so making sure that my video clips are short and the parts that I want to use, I know I want to use, so keeping those bits short uh, really cuts down on the editing time. Once I had all of that footage converted, I jumped into step two. I went ahead and loaded up a template. I actually used Dubstep Baby, and for audio, because of monetization issues with YouTube and the music that's included in the GoPro Studios not being able to be monetized on YouTube because of licensing issues, I actually replaced it with some free music from the GoPro's Creators Library. If you guys want to find out how to do that because it's not that straightforward, check out the video linked in the video description talking about how to replace audio inside a template. Because of the slow motion bits and parts to it, it produced a fairly awesome looking clip. It was at this point just a simple Manu uh, simple process of dragging and dropping in my converted video clips into the timeline and then the final edit was done. I have one file here, these two here that are the same video clip spanned across um, two different template slots. I decided to do that because one slot was not long enough to get the shot across I wanted to use but apart from that I stuck pretty true to the template and it turned out very well. What I really wanted to illustrate with this was how you can very, very quickly make an edit and how little video footage you actually need. I have 30 seconds, this is a 30 second clip and it really doesn't take that much footage to make that 30 second video interesting. Now you really don't want to make a video longer than 30 seconds because if you're going to put this up on Facebook or send it to your friends, a video longer than 30 seconds takes time and a commitment for them to watch. Whereas a 30 second video is great because they can easily watch it, it's quick, and with how well timed the GoPro templates cuts are, that 30 seconds will be very exciting and will keep them engaged. That's one of the huge, huge benefits of using the GoPro templates is that the footage and the clips and the cuts are designed to make sure that your edit is interesting and they're, well, their timing may seem like it's con a constraint, it's also really helpful in making sure that you only use the best GoPro footage you've shot. Thank you guys for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos, and like the video. 
If you guys want to leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about a video like this, talking about my thought process while I'm editing, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to add. Um, leave that down below. Or if you just think that this is a stupid series and it shouldn't exist, tell me that as well. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, well, thanks for watching, but I already said that.